Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to DreamWorks Switch to Life. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing every single DreamWorks project that we know is coming out in the future as of September 2024. Without further ado, let's talk about it. Okay, so the first thing that we have to discuss is The Wild Robot, which will be DreamWorks' next movie, and it will release later this month on September 27th, 2024. I am really excited to watch this movie, not just because it actually looks good, but because there's a bunch of critics on this movie who watched it early, and they're saying that it is the best animated film of the year, the best DreamWorks film of all time, and one of the best films period. I mean, how do you come away with that before the film is even out? So there's no denying that this film is going to be great, and I'm really excited to watch it. But will it really be the best DreamWorks film ever? I don't know. I'm actually going to hold off until I see it before I agree with the critics. But one thing that you have to keep in mind is that this will be DreamWorks' last movie that's made fully in-house, which means they'll be doing the animating themselves. From this point onward, they'll be outsourcing their movies to other studios or working in collaboration with Sony. One outsourced film that they're making is Dogman, which is going to be released on January 31st, 2025. I don't really know who's going to be animating it, but since it's a spinoff of Captain Captain Underpants, I think it's going to be made by Micros Animation since they created the first Captain Underpants movie. We don't have a trailer for Dogman, but I believe that it will come out later this month with the release of The Wild Robot in theaters. The next film that I want to talk about isn't actually being made by DreamWorks Animation, but it is based off one of their films. That, of course, is the live-action How to Train Your Dragon remake, which I'm actually really excited for. They brought back a bunch of filmmakers from the original trilogy, like director Dean DeBloy, John Powell as the composer, and of course, they got Gerard Butler to come back as Stoic the Vast. I'm really excited for this movie, but honestly, the one thing that I'm actually really worried about is the reveal of what the dragons will actually look like, because we just got the live-action reveal for Stitch, and I am afraid. Well, I mean... Stitch is faithful to what he looked like in the original, but it's just unnerving to see him in live action. So I'm a little worried about what the dragons will look like. Luckily, we won't have to wait long because the live action actor of Hiccup, Mason Thames, has said that there will be an official reveal, like an image or a teaser or whatever, that will be coming out very soon in the near future. The live-action How to Train Your Dragon remake will be released in theaters on June 13th, 2025, marking the 11-year anniversary of the sequel How to Train Your Dragon 2. Speaking of sequels, we should also talk about The Bad Guys 2, which will be the first DreamWorks movie that will be made as a collaboration between DreamWorks and Sony Pictures Imageworks, which basically means that DreamWorks will take care of animating 70% of the film, while Sony takes care of animating 30%, and also that both companies will provide 50% of the animation assets. If you want, I left a link down below to a prediction for the bad guys too, but essentially the plot is going to revolve around the bad guys teaming up with a criminal gang made up of entirely girls to pull off one last heist. The film has a release date of August 1st, 2025. Luckily, it's not the only sequel DreamWorks is making, as we're also getting Shrek 5, which will be released on July 1st, 2026. We don't actually know a lot about this movie, but I did leave a link below down in the description as to what I think the film could look like. But we do know that it will have the return of Shrek, Donkey, and Fiona, and it will most likely have the return of Puss, Kitty Soft Paws and Perito from Puss in Boots The Last Wish thanks to the ending of, well, The Last Wish. 
I also think that it's a safe bet that it will have the same animation style used in Puss in Boots The Last Wish and The Wild Robot. And the final film that I want to talk about is Gabby's Dollhouse The Movie, which has a release date of September 26, 2025. The film will be about Gabby going on vacation to Cat Francisco with her grandma until her dollhouse gets stolen by a cat lady named Vera, and then she has to go through the city to find the Gabby cats and bring them back together. This will also be DreamWorks' very first live-action animation hybrid, and I think because of that, it's most likely going to be an outsourced movie, and it will most likely be outsourced to the same people who made the Gabby's Dollhouse TV show, just with a higher budget. Speaking of, it's time to talk about the TV show side of DreamWorks. And of course, the first TV show that I have to talk about is Gabby's Dollhouse. We don't really know when the next season is coming, but we do know that there is going to be a next season. In fact, we know there's going to be a ton of seasons because the show has actually been ordered to get over 100 episodes. Currently, we're only at 70. So season 11 will be coming out soon, probably sometime in early 2025. But luckily, that's not the only thing that's going to be coming to Netflix. In fact, there's a lot of stuff that's going to be coming to Netflix, especially in October, because we're actually getting a ton of releases in October. On October 3rd, we're going to get a holiday special called The Bad Guys Haunted Heist. Okay, now it finally makes sense why The Bad Guys in a Very Bad Holiday was marketed as a Netflix series. It's going to be a series of holiday specials. And who knows, they might actually be giving us a TV show in the future. Probably not before The Bad Guys 2 hits theaters, but maybe after we'll get a TV show focusing on The Bad Guys after the movie. After that, on October 14th, we're actually going to get a brand new TV show called Mighty Monster Wheelies. It will be a preschool series that basically combines monsters and vehicles. And the final thing that's going to be coming to Netflix with a release date is Jurassic World Chaos Theory Season 2, which will be coming on October 17th, 2024. And I am really excited for this season, because the first season was really awesome. I left a review down below in the description. And that's everything that we know is coming to Netflix with the release date, but I feel like that's not all that we're going to get in the future. While I don't think that any of these renewals will be happening before November, I do think that we will most likely get a season 5 of Go Dog Go, which will most likely have 12 episodes episodes, which brings the series to a 52 episode count. But I also could be wrong and we're not going to get a season 5. Who knows? One thing that I do want to point out though is Dewdrop Diaries and Not Quite Narwhal. Both of these shows have reached an equivalent of 26 episodes over the course of four seasons, which means that their production phases are done, now it's up to viewership as to whether or not the show actually gets renewed. Considering that both shows ended up having their latest release over half a year ago and Netflix still hasn't cancelled the series, I think that there might be a season 3 for both shows in production, but I could be wrong and maybe Netflix just doesn't care about about announcing the cancellation of preschool shows. Probably that one. And now we're done with the new releases, but we still have more content coming to Netflix in October. And among them is Kung Fu Panda 4, which, yeah, the movie is currently streaming on Peacock, but it will be leaving Peacock and heading to Netflix on October 15th, 2024. But speaking of Peacock, let's move to that streaming service. The only TV show that's still going on Peacock, and I guess Hulu, is Fright Crew. And the, currently the show has two seasons with 20 episodes and it's at the end of its production phase, meaning that now it's up to viewership as to whether or not the show gets renewed for season 3. And it's clear that the writers did intend for there to be a season 3. Personally, I think that we are getting a season 3 and it will most likely be released sometime in October 2024. 
If it's not, then that's just wasted potential. Speaking of, October would actually be a great time to release the live-action Casper the Friendly Ghost series, which DreamWorks has been in development for quite some time now. Unfortunately, we still don't have a release date or even a release slate for this series. It might come out as soon as October 2024, or it might not come out until 2025, or maybe after. Who knows? But anyway, let's move to our final streaming service. Apple TV Plus currently only has one show, and that is Curses. And unfortunately, we only have one season with 10 episodes, and it was released back in October of 2023. To this day, we still have no announcement for what season two could look like, or even if there is a season two. I'm just gonna say it, if there is not a season two announcement in October, then I'm probably just gonna consider the show canceled. But another TV show that we know is coming to Apple TV Plus is Bear Brick. It currently has one season with 13 episodes ordered. Unfortunately, we don't actually know when it will be released. It could be this year, next year, the year after that, who knows. And now we are done with films and TV shows, so let's move on to The Art of DreamWorks, which is actually a book that showcases a bunch of concept art that was used to create a ton of films and TV shows for the past 30 years of DreamWorks history and it's going to be released on September 10th, 2024, the same day as The Art of the Wild Robot, which is going to feature concept art used to create the wild robot, obviously. And speaking of, we're also going to get an Art of Dogman, which is going to be released on December 10th, 2024. And now let's talk about the video games, and there's both a lot and not much to talk about. The first of these is Stitch, which just got an update on the Apple Arcade, where you can paint or stitch, I guess, a bunch of scenes from the Shrek films, which I think is really cool, and it's available right now. I mean, you gotta go subscribe to Apple Arcade, but it's there. And now let's talk about a console game called Power Wash Simulator, which is actually going to get a DLC update, which you do have to pay extra for, which will have Shrek Swamp covered in a bunch of graffiti paint, and you have to wash it off. The base game is currently on sale, which I highly recommend that you go and get it, but... Unfortunately, the Shrek DLC isn't available right now, and we don't have a release date for it, but we do know that it's coming out in the not-so-far-far-away future. And the final thing I want to talk about is Roblox, and like how we got Shrek Swamp Tycoon, we're going to get a Kung Fu Panda game called Kung Fu Panda Hero Showdown, which is currently in the middle of beta testing, and you can currently play the game and help beta test it for 25 Robux. And yes, you do have to pay actual money, but eventually it will be made available for free to the entire public. And with that, let's move on to theme park attractions. And as of right now, we only have one. How to Train Your Dragon, The Isle of Burke, which is going to be part of Universal Epic Universe. And I personally cannot wait to see what it looks like and experience it for myself when it opens sometime in 2025. And with that out of the way, we are finally done listing every single project that DreamWorks has coming out. To recap, the ones with release dates include an Apple Arcade game called Stitch, where you can now stitch a bunch of scenes from the Shrek films. It's available to be played right now. Next, we also have the Art of DreamWorks Animation 30-Year Anniversary, which will be released on September 10th, 2024, the same day as the Art of the Wild Robot, which is going to come out a couple weeks before the actual film, The Wild Robot, releases in theaters on September 27th, 2024. About a week later, we will have the release of The Bad Guy's Haunted Heist, 
which will be released on Netflix on October 3rd, 2024. A couple weeks after that, we will have the first season of the preschool series Mighty Monster Wheelies on October 14th, 2024. The day after that, we're going to get the official Netflix release for Kung Fu Panda 4 on October 15th, 2024. And finally, we also have Jurassic World Chaos Theory Season 2, which will be released with 10 episodes on Netflix on October 17th, 2024. A couple of months after that, we're going to get The Art of Dogman on December 10th, 2024, before the actual film releases on January 31st, 2025. This will be followed by the live-action How to Train Your Dragon remake, which will come out on June 13th, 2025, followed by The Bad Guys 2, which will be coming out on August 1st, 2025, and then we'll have Gabby's Dollhouse the Movie coming out on September 26th, 2025. And finally, the last announcement that we have to date is Shrek 5, which will be coming out on July 1st, 2026. And that's it for everything that we know DreamWorks is going to be coming out with. What project are you most excited for? Make sure to leave your thoughts down below in the comments section. And also, please make sure that you like and subscribe. I really want to be able to reach 500 subscribers before The Wild Robot releases later this month, so please do me a favor. But with that in mind, I hope that you're all staying safe out there, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Roz and Robots are programmed for instant physical mimicry. Show me deer. Porcupine. Squirrel. Now skunk. I do not want to do skunk. Skunky, skunky. Boo. <laughs>